Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Maddie of Maddie's Crochet Corner. Today's video is going to be an everything I crocheted in the past two weeks video. I have a chicken body right there. Um, so I definitely haven't crocheted as much as I wanted to, but it was still quite a lot and I'm pretty happy with it. So I have the bin right here next to me so I can go ahead and start showing you. Um, really quickly, before I start showing you, I do want to go ahead and just tell you what things I have uh, in my whips right now. So I have a chicken body I still need to finish. I want to make a couple more chickens as well. And then I'm also working on some pixie dust brights. Um, turtles, I am just double stranding the yarn so that way they come out bigger. Um, and then that's pretty much all I have in the works right now. And then I do have axolotls that just need like their their tail fin I guess um that's I that's something that I need to work on later probably at my market which is going to be on Sunday per usual um but I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that I crocheted last week and then I'll show you everything that I made this week because I there's a lot of new things this week um but yeah so let's get into last week so I think the first things that I started on <laughs> were axolotls and I wanted to see how many I could get out of one skein of the sorry my chair is like all spinny how much I can get out of the basic Chanel brights from Premier Yarns and I got a total of seven axolotls so this is using crochet groves pattern let me go ahead and put them down and yeah one two three four five six seven yeah so i crocheted seven i did not have enough yarn to completely kind of finish one so this one is one row less than the others which is totally fine i don't really care but this is what it looks like up close and it is a nail sew pattern all i have to do is surface crochet the fin on the back to all of them which will be really easy but yeah so i was able to make seven axolotls which is good, um, but I'm out of the basic chenille now, so I'm probably going to have to place another order soon. I'm hoping to place another order after this coming market and then after the next market. So in about a week and a half, I'm going to be placing another order, hopefully. And then hopefully I'll get my wholesale order, which will also help pay for that. But we shall see what happens with that. Um, but the next thing I worked on was a... Winnie the Pooh. This pattern is from Yarnworks by Ella. It sells really well. I brought one to every market and every market that I brought it to they've sold. Uh, well actually I think I've had them at the past three markets and I've only had one at each one and they've sold at each one. So I plan on making another one before my next market so that way I can just have two. And then I also made um, these two octos. I had another one, but I ended up mailing it to Ashton Crochets, um, uh, as a little gift. Um, but yeah, so this pattern is by Knox by, no. What? It's, she's like a big, she's a massive. She has a YouTube channel with tutorials and... She just came out with like a no-sew whale pattern, a big massive one. I forget what she, I'm constantly blanking on what her name is, but I made three of these and this pattern is from Knots by Jade. Is that her, her handle? I'm not completely sure. I'll of course be leaving it linked down below. And then I believe, yeah, the la second to last things that I worked on was bees. I've had these bee bodies in my room for like the past month and a half so i finally decided to put wings on them this is just a free-handed pattern and i'm thinking about make me coming out with it but i'm not sure i use the Pre premier parfait xl on this and i definitely want to order more of it um because one ball of it i think made like five or six bees and that's pretty good and these are so so cute and they sell well at market so i need to order more of this this is actually the first yarn that i ever ordered from premier parfait uh, from Premier, and I really, really liked it, so I want to go ahead and order some more. I also had extra to make a little bee, and I, it's a little bit wonky doodle. I showed, sewed the wings on wrong, so either I'm going to keep this guy, he's going to be like a little mascot for the channel, and, or I can cut 
the wings off and sew them on properly. But I don't know. I'm kind of feeling lazy and I don't really want to do that. Um, but we'll see. He might just be a mascot and just like live right there. <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. Then the last thing that I crocheted last week was this cute little cow. It is a free tutorial here on YouTube by One Cent Crochets. It is absolutely adorable. You make the body separate, the head separate, and so all you have to sew on is the head, the ears, the horns, and then the muzzle as well, but it works up really fast. I think it took me about an hour or an hour and 20 minutes or so to make this little guy. He was actually requested by um, my brother, so yeah, but he's really, really cute, and I love him, her, it. I don't know. <laughs> um, but since we are in the cow section, I had the... Actually, yeah, no, I have one more thing that I crocheted last week. So, yeah, and so I got the honor of testing Traveling Pony Studios, her very first pattern, and it was for this adorable cow. She has released it by now. I'll be linking it down below. That's her very first pattern. Please go send her some love. Go follow her YouTube tutorial, her YouTube channel. Uh, just send her love, go follow her YouTube, her Instagram, and everything like that. But this is the pattern. It is low sew, so you crochet the arms in, you crochet the ears in. The only thing you have to sew on is the horns and the muzzle, and I think it takes me about an hour to make each cow or less. And it's such a wonderful pattern. She did such an amazing job um, for her first pattern, and I'm so excited for her to release more of them. But definitely go and send her some love. So I made this one last week, and then I made another one last night. I definitely plan on making one or two more before my market, and this is the one I made last night. It kind of reminds me of a s'more. I think Darby's Crochet Corner made one like this out of her pattern, obviously, and I think that's where I got the idea, but I'm not sure. I think it was her that I got the idea from, but it is so, so cute, and I have a couple other ideas for more cows that I want to make. Now, this is my favorite thing that I made this week. It is another cow, and it is the pattern from Traveling Pony Studios, but I did something a little different. I used fluffy yarn for the first time with this, and this is what it turned out. I was not expecting it to be this adorable, this cute. I'm absolutely in love with it, but look at it. I love it so much. She is absolutely adorable and fluffy, as Crochet by Jenna would say. Hug check. She is so huggable. I love her so much. And I think I have enough yarn to make like three more of them. Um, I'm in love. Um, I don't know if I want to sell it. I don't know. I'm in love with it. Um, but... I think it might be taking it to my market on Sunday, and I'm kind of hoping it doesn't sell. And I have to figure out a way to keep it away from little kids, because I do not want their hands ruining it, because it's, it's so near and dear to my heart, and... Oh, I don't know. I just, I would think I would prefer to just have it on my Etsy, so that way um, it doesn't get hurt. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. But I am absolutely in love with it. I want to make... A billion more and just in love in love for this I had to um, I don't know if you can understand this but I had to crochet inside out I guess because um, normally like you would be crocheting around and around and around well I, I was actually inside I was crocheting this way like in I don't know if you guys understood that but that's the only way I created it to it be fluffy without having to see the stitches because if I did it the right way, you could see the stitches. And I did it the right way on the arms. I don't know if you guys can tell. But um, you can see the stitches on that. And I don't know. I didn't really like the way that looked. So I ended up flipping it inside out and crocheting um, the wrong way. <laughs> but it ended up working out. It was honestly pretty easy to do. I think that took me about two hours or so to make it. Um, just because that was my first one. But hopefully when I make more, it does better. Then, the next thing I made was, last night I made 
this jellyfish. I definitely want to make more. I did sew the eyes on rather than use safety eyes just because I am currently out of my 24 millimeter eyes and I also figured I should start sewing the eyes on for my jellyfish um, because a lot of people buy them for babies and I was like okay I need to start making a better for babies, um, more baby safe. So I figured I would start sewing the eyes on just like this. Um, I did a bit of a wonky job on it. So hopefully in my next ones, I will do a better job. But yeah, so that is not everything, but I just wanted to show you that jellyfish show. Hopefully I can start doing that. Um, the next things I crocheted I am gonna be, I have, I'm saving something for the last, but it's right before it. I made some chickens. I sewed the eyes on just because people really, really like these. And I do not really want to be using my 12 millimeter eyes on them just because when people press on the eyes, I feel like you can feel the backings. So I'm just gonna be starting to sew the eyes on and it does get lower the material costs. So yeah, so I made two chickens and I made another body, but I wasn't able to finish it. And then, actually, yeah, I made a full body. I wasn't, I didn't stuff it or anything. And then I made half a body and I lost a yarn chicken, sadly. And then the last thing that I made in these past two weeks, of course, I, it's Friday. It's only 12. So I still have the rest of today. I have some of Saturday. Um, so I'm hoping to get a lot more done. I will be pulling an um, all-nighter. So if I make anything before the end of the week, I will be doing like little clips of them. So that way you guys can see them. But this is a pattern that I designed this week. And on my first try, it came out so wonderful. It came out the way I really, really wanted to do. I kind of almost dedicated, I think, a good five hours to just me working on this pattern and the texture call is currently up right now it's over on my instagram it ends on the 23rd and this video will be going up on monday i believe so i'm not completely sure if you guys will have time but uh hopefully you guys will so if you guys watch this on monday tuesday go and apply for the texture call um but yeah so it is for Oakley the Owl. I looked high and low for patterns that resembled this and I could not find any and for, for that I was honestly thankful that gave me a chance to design something that I've been wanting to design for a while. I've been telling people that I was going to be designing an owl pattern soon and people have just been asking for it so I finally finally made one. So this is Oakley the Owl, and I'm absolutely in love with it. So this is what it looks like up close. He has a little tail. Um, at first, I didn't have his little, I don't know, if, what are they called? Like tufts of feather? I still need to look up that name for the pattern. Um, but I'm absolutely in love. So yeah, this is Oakley the Owl. I plan on coming out with a whole pack of this. So we'll see how that turns out. I have a piece of fluff on my tongue. One second. Um, but yeah, uh, his name is Oakley. I'm in love with him. And I cannot wait to make more. I think I want to make it so he can be a penguin, he can be a mallard. Um, I'm just so excited to release this. He will we'll be releasing on the 31st and I'm just so excited for it. I cannot wait to release him to you guys, um, but I hope you guys are excited for it. Um, yeah. But that is everything that I crocheted in these past two weeks. Of course, like I said, I still have the rest of today and some of Saturday. So if I do crochet anything in that time, I will go ahead and do a little clip of it so that way you guys can see it. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video off right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I plan on making more of these videos in the future. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!